All right, so here we are with Blake the Snake Fredrickson. Uh, he's, uh, he's actually one of my main coaches, uh, one of the best in the business. I would say BC is Greg Jackson, who puts the MMA game together. Uh, so what you're doing at Revolution right now is working with mostly all the amateur guys. What can you tell us about that? Uh, I'm just trying to bring these guys up, getting them prepped, uh, getting their pro careers ready, I'm trying to get these guys a few minutes, like yourself now, you, what, you're going on your what, ninth, ninth, ninth fight. fight. Yeah. Right, getting these guys ready for their pro debut. I'm um, starting to work a little bit now with the pros as well too. We're trying to sharpen up their tools, trying to mix it all together. But um, yeah, I'm having a great time. So, what kind of notable uh, professional fighters are you currently training right now? Well, I am. Uh, I'm training Viviano Fernandez right now for his title fight coming up in December. Uh, just trying to uh, put it all together for him right now. I've got yourself coming up, big title fight in January here. Uh, I'm working with Yusuf, I work with Yusuf, he's fighting next week as well, and uh, Tyler Cajun, I'm going to start working with them as well. Excellent. So since you've taken over the amateur division of Revolution, what's your guys' record standing out? What's our record standing out right now? Oh, as of tonight, um, after today's fight, I think that takes us to 19 and 4 for the year, or 20 and 4, so we've had good success uh, from the start of the year, and we've been completely dominant. So you know, we'd like to go to Ash's fight tonight, so I think we'll be 20 and 4 after that. Excellent. And then next week we we'll got Yusuf on the card. And Twenty-two and four. Twenty-two and four. And then uh, I think we got three more guys coming up December third as well. So. Excellent. So what do you bring to the Revolution team that you feel was m missing at one time? Like how you, how do you bring it all together for I, MMA? Well, I've been the guy. I've been doing this now for ten years. I've had twenty pro fights. Um, I have been out of the fight game now. I haven't fought since '07. So I'm kind of you know I was trying to find my place. You know, as part of the team, I'm not active really as a fighter anymore. So. Uh, you know, some of the pro guys don't have time to train and bring the up-and-comer guys, so I got some free time, so I figured, you know, what the hell, you know, I can help these guys out, try and tie everything together. I'm still active, I still do my research on my guys, I still watch fight videos, I'm still a student of the game. So I'm learning and I'm passing that knowledge along to my, to my students as well. Excellent. So besides uh, fighters who want to fight, are you training people that just want to learn it, that want to come off and just oh. kind of get some training out of it, just kind of learn it? Yeah, I, I started that about six months after I uh, had figured that I was going to take hiatus from fighting. And uh, over the course of the last three years, I've had about 50 clientele. And I've got a couple guys, uh, just read like a couple buddies that come and train. I've done women. Uh, I've got a 13-year-old kid I've been training for like 13, 14 years. Just get him in shape. He's an all-star lacrosse player. Um, yeah, just regular folk coming in, hitting pads, doing shits, learning, man. So what are some notable names that you've fought in your career that... Uh, see, Paul Daly. I, I lost a razor-thin split decision to Paul Daly back in 06. That was a close fight, uh, depending on how you look at it. Uh, who else did I battle with there? I won, uh, I beat George Casamatis here in town for the Elite World Lightweight title in 06 as well. Uh, he fought Justin Bruckman, who was the UCC uh, World Lightweight champ at the time too. I defeated him. So I, Terry Quinville, a lot of guys back in East TKO. I fought in the MFC three times, was undefeated there. So I've been around and done it. So what kind of titles have you held in, in MMA? Uh, like I said, I was the elite lightweight world champ, elite FC. I uh, was the two-time Pacific Northwest Fan Creation champ, uh, and as well as the ex-fighting U.S. United States lightweight champ as well. Excellent. So you've been Canada and the States kind of going back and forth. Yeah, I fought... I fought at the start of my career, I think the first five or six fights in my eyes started down the States. Exactly. Um, if there's one thing that I can say is that uh, the first day I walked into Revolution and I wanted to be trained by him, he had uh, he had told me that I wanted to do a Tiger Bomb tournament and he had told me, unless you're going to fight in the ring one day or the cage, I'm not training you. <laughs> so I was scared. I didn't want to I didn't want to get into the ring. I didn't want to get into the cage. But for, in order for him to do any training with me, I have to do that. And it's thanks to him that it kind of made me step over. So I'd like to thank you for that. Oh, and uh, this guy is part, actually is all the success that the reason I'm even where I'm at right now. And Viviano is now working with him. And we can already see, you'll see definitely improvements in his next fight, how the, all the MMA game comes together. I, he's definitely like the Greg Jackson, the Tompkins of our gym, who brings all the entire game together. We have excellent Jits guys, we have excellent Muay Thai guys, we have excellent wrestlers, but he brings the entire MMA game together, plots it in for our fights, and that's why the success of the amateur team is where it's at. Like, thank you, Blake. Hey, hey, hey sir. It's a pleasure. It's awesome. Thank you. Right